hello guys my name is Paige and today we'll be doing my January wrap up a book haul and my December or February TBR so let's get started started I've already recorded this entire video and did not hit record and I had some good key points a little bit of like ranter which who does not ranter when it comes to a book and it was perfectly done so sorry for that and also sorry for the camera move real fast I thought I was really off I can't really see that far yep well let's go with it all right so the first book that um, I bought in the month of January was the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo everybody on booktube has loved this book I found it at Goodwill for three bucks I was like a steal perfect condition perfect everything go check your local good so let's talk about my January wrap-up I read a total of five books in the month of January so let's get started on talking about them the first book that I read in the month of January was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets I love Harry Potter you should already know this I'm gonna get probably my first tattoo of HP not like legitly HP but that's besides the point of relevant Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets if I need to describe Harry Potter to you, you should probably find a better booktuber or read it yourself. But anyways, um, overall, I gave uh, Harry Potter a 5 out of 5 stars, and I love rereading this series because this Harry Potter, the third one, this one, is my favorite one of all times. So let's go. The next book that I read in the month of January was Children of Blood and Bone. Overall, I gave this book a 2 out of 5 stars. Not because of the story, not because of how thick it is, not because it put me to sleep some nights. It was because of the narrator. I listen to every single book on audio. I love a full cast audiobook, but you can't get it. Not everyone does it like Jim Dales, who does Harry Potter. This person, she um, reads The Hate You Give. How do I put it into kind words? She did, she did accents for this book. So this book has two main characters, or two main characters that end up being kind of, I think, a love interest. Couldn't really figure that out because... It had the same girl read both parts. And usually with people who illustrate books can do different accents. Like you could deepen your voice to make you like a girl. Or higher your voice to make you like a little woman or something like that. No, she kept the same tone for the male and female part. So I had to be, like every chapter she would begin the chapter with the name of it. And if I didn't have it in front of me going, okay, that's the, that's the male perspective. Or, oh, that's the female perspective. Or if I like fell asleep to a book or something and I had to like go back and listen to it. It just, it took me out of the experience of reading this book. So if they did like two different authors or purposes, they'll be like, oh, well this sounds the same. We should lower your voice or upper your voice or something like that just change the tone of the voice it would have brought the experience so much better to this book but they didn't and that's what sucks about it I'm like okay it took me two weeks to finish this book and half the time I wanted to DNF it because I had to sit there and be like okay what's this character and this character and I just got like super confused and really upset with myself because I'm like like uh and their names aren't hard like they're not Bob and Jill you know their names are like I don't even know Ooh. <laughs> when you find stuff in there but like they're just like super like different names and it just drives me nuts how I cannot I could not figure it out it just oh, it irritated me so that's why I gave it an overall a two out of five stars if you read it normally and you're not a big fan of like the audio person and you don't have a person who like reads it to you and you don't have an opinion about it read this book it's super good super fast paced super adventurous super like folk tale-y esque then read it Anyways, overall I get two out of five stars. And I don't know if it's a series, but if it's a series, I will be continuing on with the series. Alright, the next book that I read was a series of unfortunate event, book three, The Window The Wild Window. Yeah. But let me stick it. So this is book three on the uh f uh, home for the series oh, this is home for series of unfortunate events. The series of unfortunate events. People, sorry for that camera twitch real fast. Um, overall I gave it a three out of five stars. 
yes. It was a very good to figure out the children. I did read the entire series when I was little, but I only read up to book three. So it was like kind of like rereading it. And there's movies for the series in a fortune event. There's a whole Netflix for the series in a fortune event. So I read the series again. I'm definitely going to pay more attention to it. This was just book three and I've already read book three. But overall, I gave it a three out of five stars and will be continuing on with this. The next book that I read in the month of January was The Distance Between Us by Casey West. Casey West is one of those authors who writes young adult love romance fiction like this doesn't happen but so this is about a girl who grew up kind of poor she lives on top of a dollhouse she has one best friend knowing Casey West every single book I've read and I think I've only read two books by Casey West editing put how much I've actually read by Casey West she has every single character have one best friend why can't they have more and they're always the girl who's super quiet and super like, oh my gosh, this is how my life is. This is how I'm going to go for it. I can't find love. It's just, it's the way she writes. And I'm like, oh, I want something different. A love story and how two characters fall in love. And from different sides of the track, mostly. And it's super cheesy, super YA. It was good. I gave it four out of five stars. But yeah, it's quite enjoyable great why you kind of bring me out of all the fantasy this book that i read in the month of january was one of us was lying sorry if you keep seeing all my text messages um, i'm texting a friend right now but it is a and i don't have the physical copy with me because it was due back at the library and i didn't want to get like a super big fine and with my schedule of filming i just didn't have it this book is about about five teenagers that go into detention and one dies so there's four that comes out of detention and it goes on through the mystery from there it's from multiple points of view the audiobook is fantastic the characters one character I can't remember her name I I hated her I was like this girl's the bitch girl of the thing you know you always got one of those in high school she was the bitch girl of it and I just disliked her I was like oh I'm gonna hate her her character growth was phenomenal phenomenal like I have not seen that character gross in a long time but overall I gave this book a four out of five stars it is not a series but it has like a good mystery point and you guys should go into the book super blind like totally blind all right the next thing I'm gonna talk about is my December TBR I don't usually set myself a huge TBR because I'm a, such a mood reader like totally mood reader so the books that I'm currently reading right now and you guys will see in a vlog that I'm doing um I don't know if the vlog is gonna go up before this or after my wrap-up I'm shooting for both of them about the same time but if you haven't seen my wrap-up or my vlog and you watch my wrap-up since they're my vlogs um, you will not know it, but I am reading American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This is my book club book for January and February. We decided to do a poll and we picked this book. 99% of the time I don't know what's going on. It's the style of writing. Um, Jacob has finished it. Don't know what's going on. I think this is based in Colorado. They said Colfax every once in a while. But it's mostly about a god, is what I pegged on Earth that's all I got like I'm chapter 18 I read last night and I totally forgot to put it like, I'm chapter 18 I was shooting to finish it before this month was over and then February 1st open happened and it was Friday and I was like I didn't finish American Tax that's okay um and the next book that I am currently reading is some some short of love some short of love mistake me if I'm wrong I gave this uh, I'm gay, gave this book this book is about a third book in the series. I found it on Hoopla. It looks steamy. Romance. I was like, heck yeah. It's book number three, which none of the characters, it's not like an adventure story where you're like, go on adventure, adventure, adventure. And if you read book three, you foil one and two. It's like a love book triangle. You know, it's like the bar series that I really enjoyed. So it's like one of those books. And so far it's steamy romance. It's about a girl who's a doctor who didn't find love and she meets a guy at her sister's wedding. Her sister's wedding I was like, this is going to be me in the future. Like, have my career set, and I'm going to my sister's wedding, and meet my future husband. Like, and my other sister's going to be engaged and pregnant. I'm like, totally. And I'm just like the oddball out here, which is my life. Um, but it's about a guy who raises a, also a son that has some special needs. So I'm seeing the different points of it. I'm only on chapter, I think, like 10. Hold on. 
I'm on chapter five roughly. I will update my vlog. I read some more and haven't figured out where exactly I'm in the vlog. But yeah, so far I'm quite enjoying it. I don't know what I'll give it. I'm probably a four out of five stars. Depends on the love romance and how the kid ties into it as well. But yeah. Other than that, the month of January went really well. I put out two vlogs. I am vlogging out right now. My sister borrowed my camera, so that's why my wrap up's a little late. Um, I did end up cutting my hair. If you guys did not know, it was down to here, and I chopped it all off. If my sister has a big issue about it for her wedding, I will just get a wig and wear a wig. So, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.